In a previous video, we introduced animal and plant cells. We looked at the typical model of an animal cell and a typical model of a plant cell. However, in reality, animals and plants are made up of all sorts of different types of cells and they will all have a very specific shape to do the particular job or function that they are designed to do. In this video, we're going to look at a number of different specialised animal and plant cells. Let's first look at some specialised animal cells. So we've got the egg cell, and this is specialised by having a large amount of cytoplasm with fat stores. It also has a spongy outside layer that protects the cell and attracts sperm. Then we'll look at the sperm cell. This has enzymes in the head to help the sperm enter the egg. It has lots of mitochondria to release energy for movement and it also has a tail for swimming. More specialised animal cells include the muscle cell. This has lots of mitochondria to release energy and it is also a very long cell to be able to contract and relax for movement. The nerve cell has branch connections to connect to other nerve cells and it is very long to be able to transmit electrical signals a long distance. Still keeping with the animal cells, we've also got the red blood cell. This contains haemoglobin, a red pigment that binds oxygen. It has a large surface area to carry oxygen and it also has no nucleus. Now we'll look at some specialised plant cells. These include the palisade cell. As you can see, this is packed full of chloroplasts for photosynthesis. It is also very tall and thin, so lots of cells can be packed together in the leaf. The root of the plant contains another specialised cell called the root hair cell. This has a large surface area to absorb water, lots of mitochondria to release energy, and no chloroplasts, as it's underground and doesn't do photosynthesis. So the next time you think of your typical animal and plant cell models, just remember that they actually come in lots of different shapes depending on the function that they do. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.